Yo, 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 what is up Halo community? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be checking out five custom equipment that was made via Halo Infinite's Forge. A lot of these could be used in like different scenarios, different game types. I can see a lot of potential with some of these items. And overall, it's just going to be a fun addition to the Halo Infinite experience. Now, before we jump in, if you guys could hit that like and subscribe button, I would highly appreciate it. it may seem like a little thing, but it does help out a ton. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So starting at number five, we have the base reinforcement equipment in Halo Infinite. This was created by Cryptum. And this is just huge, man. The amount of stuff that you can pull with this is going to be freaking awesome. So the way it works is he pops an equipment thingy. And when he pops that equipment, it spawns some kind of barricade. And you could pretty much just uh, place it wherever you want. And I'm pretty sure this could be done with various objects. It doesn't just have to be this barrier that we're seeing here now. And just imagine like having this in infection or some kind of like war kind of mode, like invasion if someone recreated invasion in halo infinite forge you could have like some kind of like build phase or something you know set up defenses barricades you know sentry guns you know all that stuff uh yeah the freaking potential is just huge with this at number four we got the deployable bouncy pad in halo infinite and this was made by artifice hopefully i pronounced his name right um and yeah i mean there's not much to say about it it's literally a bouncy pad um, I think this is awesome. Since we don't have the gravity lift, I'll definitely take this. In some ways, it actually is kind of more fun than the gravity lift. I believe he says that you can actually use this against vehicles and grenades actually like bounce off it and stuff. We don't have footage of it here, but uh, I think in the comments down below, he says it somewhere. At number three, we have the bubble shield or bubble box, whichever you prefer to call it. So this was made by Helio Scrub. And yeah, it's pretty much just a bubble shield. If you don't know what the bubble shield is, it's literally just a, uh, I, I mean, yeah, it's literally, <laughs> it's literally just a bubble shield and it pretty much just blocks all projectiles. You can't shoot inside or outside. And yeah, he pretty much just recreated it here. Although of course it's more of a box format. So moving on to number two, we got local teleport in Halo Infinite. This was also made by Cryptum and yeah, it's pretty much just a teleporting device. Whenever you pop it, it sets like a little marker showing you where you're going to teleport. Um, and yeah, you just end up teleporting there. It's pretty nice. Pretty cool equipment. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just a teleport equipment. This could be fun for like puzzle maps or something. So at number one, we have callable saber airstrikes. This was made by Forgium. And yeah, it's pretty much just what the name itself says, which honestly really fits really well uh with the threat sensor and yeah it calls in a saber it drops in a fusion coil it is a bit scuffed because <laughs> it's quite uh it's quite off the target but um i'm sure it could probably be cleaned up a bit and you could probably change like what it drops and stuff which is really cool you could probably even make it like drop a vehicle imagine that that'd be really nice uh but yeah i'm sure it could be cleaned up a bit more once we get the official launch of forge but regardless, I like the concept. I think it'd be really fun to use. I would love like a carpet bomb version of it. Just freaking annihilate like a, an entire base or something. <laughs> it'd be fun. Anyways, guys, that wraps up all these cool custom equipment. Let me know which one's your favorite. I'm sure there's probably some other equipment out there that's really cool. But the fact that you can create custom equipment like this is awesome. Uh, definitely going to be some game changers. Be sure to check out the original creators, uh, show them some love, you know, subscribe, like their videos. And with that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.